Welcome to the St. Albert Library tutorial for how to install the Overdrive Media app onto the uh, brand new Kobo Vox. So, first thing you want to do is go into the All Apps menu. To do that, click on the All Apps button. Then you'll want to go into the settings for your Vox, located right here. Then you'll want to go into the applications. And what you want to make sure is checked is the unknown sources. Allow installation on market applications. Make sure that's checked. It's checked right now for me, but I'm going to uncheck it. And when I recheck it, I'm going to get an alert. It says that I'm allowing non Kobo Vox market applications onto the Vox, and that's okay. We want that. So hit the home button. I'll bring you back to the menu and then you want to open up your web browser by hitting the browser button. You'll want to go into the URL www.overdrive.com. See it comes up right here in the suggestion list. So I'm going to press on that and it's going to take me to the Overdrive website. Now what I want to do is go into the software and apps section. I'm just going to zoom in so you can clearly see. Right there where it says software and apps, I want to press that. Then we go to another screen. And what we want to download is something called the Overdrive Media Console. So I'm just going to zoom in where it is. Right there, Overdrive Media Console going to press it. It's going to take me to another screen. Now here you have to be careful. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see here where it says available in the Android market. Because this is a Kobo Vox, uh, you don't have access to the full Android market. So what we want to press is this little text down here right below where it says Android 1.5 or newer. If your device doesn't support the Android market, you can download Overdrive Media Console for Android from Overdrive. You want to press that link. Then we get the whole big legal agreement. You need to hit I agree or you will be booted back and you will not be allowed to download any ebooks. And then I'll start to download to see the progress of my download. I go to the top black bar there over by the Wi-Fi and battery icon. Just press and drag down. You'll see it says OD Media Console Setup APK. That's what you want. So press that. Then it will prompt you to install. So I'm going to hit install. Okay, once it's done installing, I'm going to open it. And it's loading. I'm going to uncheck this. This is just an alert to tell you about bug fixes and all that other good stuff. Close. Okay, now to add the St. Albert Public Library to uh, OverDrive, you want to hit the menu button, which is this kind of middle button underneath right my fingers right underneath it it's like four small horizontal lines next to the home and back button so I want to press that hit get books add a library I want to hit browse for libraries or you could put in your postal code Canada Alberta Now I'm going to scroll down to St. Albert. To start doing that, I'm going to just start to move it and you'll see a little scroll bar comes up in the top uh, right hand corner and it stays there as I move it and then I can press it and I can scroll all the way down to S. Oh, picked the wrong one. Went too far. There we go. And there it is, St. Albert Public Library. I'm going to press that. Then I'm going to press the star. That will add the library permanently to your uh, read list. And then I'm just going to press that. And it's going to take me to the St. Albert Public Library uh, ebook site. 
and then you can log in with your library card and uh, pin number and you can start enjoying uh, any of the ebooks or audiobooks that we have available. Now, to get back to Overdrive, you can find it in all apps and right there, Overdrive Media Console. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please rate it at St. Albert Public Library, www.sapl.ab.ca. And feel free to send any questions or comments regarding any tutorials or future tutorials that you'd like to see.